In this video, we are going to learn to perform a problem using modified Booth's algorithm. In order to solve a problem using modified Booth's algorithm, first of all, we should know this table. Actually, this table can be derived from Booth's multiplication algorithm, which is performed on two's complement numbers. But it, this can be easily remembered also. If we see three combinations i plus 1, i, i minus 1 variables, eight combinations we are getting out of which we are having 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. In For the other remaining combinations we are having complement of it in the sense minus 2 is complement of plus 2, minus 1 is complement of plus 1, minus 1 is complement of plus 1 and 0, 0. Okay, so we can easily remember this table. Now let us see how to solve a problem using this table. Here in this table m is nothing but what we say as multiplicand. Now we are going to solve the problem using modified Booth's multiplication algorithm. The example here we are considering is 13 into minus 6. So first of all we are supposed to represent these numbers multiplicand and multiplier using two's complement representation. So 13 is 0 1 1 0 1 plus 6 is this is plus 13 this is plus 6 means 0 1 1 0. So minus 6 is 1 0 1 0. Now, according to the Booth's multi, uh, modified Booth's multiplication algorithm, we should have these numbers, that is the number of bits in the numbers, either in multiplicand or multiplier to be even number. So, uh, here we already have five, uh, four numbers, which is e four digits or four bits, which is even, but here we are having five bits. So, let us make this as six bits, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So here we are considering the number of bits in multiplicand and multiplier to be equal. So I will make this also to be same number, same number of bits. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So minus 6 becomes 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. Now we let us make, form a table A, Q, Q minus 1 which is implicit bit what we consider here sequence SC that is sequence counter. So here I will just give a comment that is I will write what operation we are going to perform. So the sequence counter in modified Booth's algorithm will be the number of bits what we are having in the multiplicand or multiplier by 2. So I will just represent the, it as n by 2 where n is equal to 6 here so sequence counter will become 3. So I will write 3 here. Implicit value I will make it 0 and q is multiplier so 6 should come here that is minus 6 should come here and a will be initialized with 0. Okay. And now, first of all, we are supposed to check three bits, that is least significant three bits including the implied implicit bit. So, that three bits is nothing but what we get from this combination, that is in this table, we are going to see what operation is going to be performed. So, here in this table, the three bits is 1, 0, 0. So, when, when, when we are having 1, 0, 0 combination, it is 1, 0, 0 that is minus 2 into m. Minus 2 into m means shift left by 1 bit and complement. Two into m. When we multiply any number into two, that can be performed by shifting that number towards left by 1 bit minus 2 in order to get it we are complementing the value. So here come back to the problem. 
so when we are having 1 0 0 it is minus 2 into m so we are supposed to perform minus 2 into m where m is plus 13 that is 0 0 1 1 0 1 so first we have to shift this one so 2 into m I am doing here so when I shift m towards left 0 1 1 0 1 0 so minus 2 into m becomes 1 0 0 1 0 1 plus 1 becomes 1 0 now we have calculated minus 10 minus 2 into m which is 1 0 0 double 1 0 so add that value to a 1 0 0 double 1 0 we are getting same value because it is the initial stage uh, we are having q q minus 1 as 0 now shift two times shift right or we can say arithmetic shift right two times or two bits so this becomes 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 triple 1 0 and here we will get 1 okay now decrement the sequence counter to 2 so the next step you are having this 3 bits to be verified so when we are having i plus 1 to be 1 i as, one, as 0 and i minus 1 as 1 if we verify the table 1 0 1 combination it is minus 1 into m so the operation to be performed is minus 1 into m minus 1 into m means just complement the value of m so the value of m is 0 0 1 1 0 1 so minus 1 into m becomes 1 1 0 0 1 1 okay so just add that value to this 1 1 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 0 1 ignore the carry again arithmetic shift right 2 times so we will get triple 1 0 double 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 and here we get 1 decrement the sequence counter so we will get the sequence counter to be 1 now we are having value 3 bits to be 1 1 1 combination so if you see the table again we are having 1 1 1 means 0 into m so 0 into m means we need not add anything to the A so we will just shift two times towards right so your arithmetic shift right means uh, sign bit will be as it is and shifting will be processed you including the sign bit now decrement the sequence counter to 0 when sequence counter reaches 0 stop the process now if you verify your answer this will be equal to minus 78 this 1 itself indicates it is negative value so take the 2's complement of this complete this complete value then you will get minus 78 this bit should be ignored ok this is the answer for plus 13 into minus 6 a small point to be noted I already specified that the number of bits we have to consider in the multiplicand and multiplier should be even number so in this example what we have solved plus 13 into minus 6 plus 13 is 5 digits and minus 6 is 4 bits which is extended to 5 bits but suppose if we are having the number itself given number itself we are having 6 bits as shown in this example plus 27 and plus 17 if we consider it itself is having 6 bits 
but we cannot solve the question as using the six bits alone we have to make this as eight bits by just appending two zeros two more zeros so here we have to continue the problem with triple zero double one zero double one so if you see zero uh, sorry one two three four five six seven eight bits are coming so eight bits we are supposed to use why we are supposed to use eight bits means when you are shifting the multiplicand value towards left and taking a complement of it then the sh shifted bit should not be lost so here if you see like plus 27 if i shift towards left it should not become a negative value but if we just use six bits and shift towards left it is becoming a negative value which should not be so for that reason we are making that to be eight bits and now if you shift towards left also that will become positive number only so plus 27 into 2 becomes plus 54 only so that is the reason why we are making if even though like 6 bits is there to be 8 bits actually ok please remember this point while you are solving the multiplication problem of 2's complement representation using modified booths algorithm thank you this is the book we have followed in order to learn Modified Boots algorithm. Out of which we are having 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. In for the other remaining combinations, we are having complement of it. In the sense, minus 2 is complement of plus 2, minus 1 is complement of plus 1, minus 1 is complement of plus 1, and 0, 0. Okay. So we can easily remember this table. Now let us see how to solve a problem using this table. Here in this table m is nothing but what we say as multiplicand. Now we are going to solve the problem using modified Booth's multiplication algorithm. The example here we are considering is 13 into minus 6. So first of all we are supposed to represent this now or 4 bits which is even but here we are having 5 bits so let us make this as 6 bits 0 1 1 0 1 so here we are considering the number of bits in multiplicand and multiplier to be equal so I will make this also to be same number same number of bits so 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 so minus 6 becomes 1 1 1 0 1 0 Okay. Now we we'll, let us make, form a table a q q minus one, which is implicit bit. What we consider here sequence S C that is sequence counter. So here I'll just give a comment. That is I'll write what operation we are going to perform. the sequence counter in modified booths algorithm will be the number of bits what we are having in the multiplicand or multiplier by 2 so I will just represent the, it as n by 2 where n is equal to 6 here so sequence counter will become 3 so I will write 3 here implicit value I will make it 0 and q is multiplier so 6 should come here that is minus 6 should come here and a numbers multiplicand and multiplier using two's complement representation so 13 is 0 1 1 0 1 plus 6 is this is plus 13 this is plus 6 means 0 1 1 0 so minus 6 is 1 0 1 0 Now, according to the Booth's multi uh, modified Booth's multiplication algorithm, we should have these numbers, that is the number of bits in the numbers, either in multiplicand or multiplier to be even number. So, uh, here we already have five, uh, four numbers, which is e four digits. In this video, we are going to learn to perform a problem using modified booths algorithm 
in order to solve a problem using modified booth's algorithm first of all we should know this table actually this table can be derived from booth's multiplication algorithm which is performed on two's complement numbers but it, this can be easily remembered also if we see three combinations i plus 1 i i minus 1 variables eight combinations we are getting 